So you can actually uh, shoot the pipi before it comes and uh, makes everything white. That did not sound as I intended it to sound. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Ah! I'm not. Oh! Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public, and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Nico Evaluates. With 26 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only Challenge, and countless Snapster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited, I'm here to tell you my honest opinions on different Mega Man games, so sit tight and learn. Hello people and welcome back to Nico Evaluates Mag Memories 2 Warning F FPS Low Restart Game. <laughs> but why? Why is it low? Restart game. Is that your fix? Restart game? It's like, oh well, we couldn't fix this. Restarted. Do you have a memory leak? Let me use my <laughs> 10 years of experience in computer science degree. Okay, there's some sort of a... No, it's not a memory leak. Power usage very high. You make me work to play your game. Did it magically fix itself? Looks like it. That was easy. You have all the solutions to the problems that exist. 69 crosses, 63 stars, 2 bow ties, 4 gold coins, and a saw of some kind. I hope you have some sort of a validation after you accidentally press erase. That could suck. Every time you come back to this tier, you have to fucking climb this whole thing. Every time. Please no. Don't they have elevators? Uh, what year is this? 20xx people. No elevators. Uh, what is this? Ah, oh, shit. We ran out of arrows trying to make this go by faster. Why do we have to use our energy on the actual uh, map screen? Eh, it's not a map. Better be careful. Mega Man, we wouldn't want you slip. Bond Man, the fucking skipper though. You might remember him from such uh, fan games as the Atari D make of Mega Man 2, which was superb, and the other game that wasn't as superb. The beginning uh, sets a tone. Everything allowed. Interesting music choice. Oh. Okay. That's a good <laughs> teaching element from the get go. Have that enemy on a spot where you can actually shoot the head immediately. Teaches you how it works. That's lovely. And of course the head comes out if you do shoot the legs. Of course you can charge. Let's see what happens other than lag. <laughs> I seem to have uh, some sort of a problem. Oh, you tested it. Here's a man who tests his shit. See? Interesting jump though. Tiles. Tile jump, very nice. That was my own fault. I should have seen that coming. You taught me very well of what's coming. So literally that was my own fault. You taught me very well. I loved all of those uh, teaching elements on those uh, particular enemies. So I should have really uh, dodged that guy. But I didn't. What is... Uh, some sort of uh, oil material which... For some reason hurts you when it drops on you, but you can actually uh, walk on it. Maybe it's heavy stuff. Let's put it on that. Maybe it's heavy. Let's say it's heavy, okay? That's why it hurts us when it drops on our head. I gotcha, okay. Galaxy Man enemies. Which are different right now. Ooh boy. So you basically took... The script from uh, Spines and added it to this. Uh, Galaxy Man enemies. I have to say, works pretty well. Although I can see where you took that uh, idea from. It just seems to work. I love uh, the setup you've done here. Two different platforms. You're gonna end up with... Uh, one of these UFO guys on the other one. One, of, one on the other one. And you're gonna have to play around with that. You're gonna have to solve that puzzle. Very nicely done. I'm just testing your... Uh, I'm testing your st <laughs> I'm testing your testing. Precisely. Good item grabs, I approve of that. 
Uh, okay, so everything here uh, has to do with this material, at least so far. Probably glue or something, bonding, that's our team. Probably don't want to shoot these. Also, uh, fairly nicely done. Fairly nicely, yeah. Uh, that's a new term. So far, very interesting, already better than uh, Dr. Wily's last tea party? I forgot the name of your fan game. <laughs> Dr. Wily's final attack? Revenge? From his... well, whatever the case, I already like this level more than that game. Please don't hurt me for that comment. It's just my opinion. Man, imagine what the world would be like if people got up, got upset about opinions. Oh, the world would be chaos. I like this stage so far. Very nicely done. It's probably a bit too basic. But maybe. And also the slide is not affected by this glue material. It's a little bit too basic, okay? I'm hoping to see a meat boss. I'm hoping to see... Should we test this for science? Can you land on that even if it's on a spike bed? Don't think you can, but let's make sure. I am dead. It's cute that we tested that. And the checkpoint is right where I thought it would be. So like I said, what happens if I just shoot this really nilly? That's gonna happen, okay. They can actually leave the screen as well. So, a bit too basic. Easy stage, not too much to worry about, speedrunners gonna love it, right? But I'm waiting for that moment of, oh my god, Jesus help me, for he whipped. Because he was a carpenter and you don't really get good pay out of that. Fuck, sticks. So I'm waiting for that, uh, wow moment, I'm really waiting for that. This could be it, uh, that's a bit of a challenge, okay, I like that. Everything there was my fault. I admit to my faults. You've tested all of these green uh, corners and such, you're not gonna glitch those out. But again, bit of a boring setup. Okay, boring is not the right word, I would say... Lackluster? Maybe. Maybe it's lackluster. You could have done so much more with the team. You could have had so uh, many things to do with the same material in different ways, but so far it's a bit of a letdown. Bit of a letdown, not not a huge one. It just kind of repeats the same idea over and over. But it has that feel of that uh, basic Mega Man stage. But something is missing, okay? It's like... Uh, it's like we have the uh, armor, but we need the weapons, okay? We have a lot of good aspects of a great Mega Man stage, but it's just missing that one last thing to really bond it together. See what I did? It's You're missing the bonding material, even though it's all over the fucking stage. I like this stage, it's very nicely done. It, it doesn't punish you needlessly, it teaches you in a nice manner. It ups the ante a little bit every time you advance to a new screen. But man, it's over. I would have hoped for at least one stretch where you're like, okay, let's fuck this guy up, okay? Let's totally shit on his bed, right? You did not do that. I was kind of hoping for that, but let's see if Bondman is here. Great. You have the boss, which is actually Bondman. Oh, I can barely see him though. <laughs> Goddamn midget. Uh, well, he's like Crashman, though. Why is he like Crashman? So essentially, borrowed material, nothing new. Well, that's my assessment. Like it or not. I think uh, Mega Man 2.5D did Bond Man as well, it was a bit different. I mean, a lot of different. It just went across the room in a speed of light and just stomped on you and shot balls at you, so... <laughs> a bit different, yes. 
I don't necessarily like neither of these. It's just Crash Man. That was just weird. I'd still like to see a good Bond Man. Something is bothering me now, though. I have to go back and see. Because little blue fellows. They had eyes. What if you shoot the eye? Can they be killed? Can they be killed with special weapons? Those are the answers I'm seeking for. Oh. Those guys don't actually... Take their head off when you jump over them. Let's see. So that does nothing. They could take like a hundred hits. But I'm not here to find out. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. I like that. I love. I, l I would love if there was a weapon that got rid of this material, but probably n there's none of these. Okay, whatever. Oh, Gary, get get Gerard. No. What? No. But no. 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 Oh no. No. The graphics look boring. No. Maybe a little bit, but no, 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 no. So basically the boss was Crash Man, uh, that's gonna have to uh, lower your score. But, I can't remember the categories from the top of my head. So, where's your heart rate? Well, I forgot to uh, charge the batteries on it. Design, I would have added a couple enemies to the mix. I would have added maybe a meat boss. I would have had some more variation. I would have had a stretch that was a little bit more difficult than the rest to test your abilities. And I would have had a boss that did not portray Crashman's uh, AI. If you did all of that, this would have been close to a perfect score. But considering these facts, design. 13. Fun. 4. Creativity. 9. Aesthetics. I'll give you a 4. I legit had uh, some fun. Tier 8 boss, let's do this. Oh, okay. Yes, we did! I love this boss! It's one of my favorite fan game bosses of all time. Tank, fuck, it's here. The rocket fellow, mi missile boy. I forgot his name. Wait, have we met before? Oh, he's, yeah, he's jet man. Nope. <laughs> we certainly fucking have met before! Okay. He has new tricks up his fucking sleeve now. I did not fathom we would be fighting him like this. Man, the music and everything, it, it fucking uh, makes my eyes moist. We're back in it, we're, we're back in it, we're, we're playing one of the uh, good fan games, we're doing it. I can play one of my favorite bosses again. In a different setting, I love this. It just brings back. What I fucking love about Mega Man, which is little surprises like this, where you have an amazing robot master come back, which you loved, and you can just play it again in a different setting. Of course, I'm kind of getting scared of my own bullets as they travel back from around the uh, tower. That is the only uh, thing I would say kind of sucks. Other than that, I can't fucking hate Chitman. Such a well-designed boss. I have to say the original design is better than this. But I just love seeing him again. I can't be mad about this. I love it. Let's kill him before we uh, become sentimental though. Fuck this. In a good way, I like that. Uh, but I don't like having to wipe down tears from my face. 
Okay. Tier 8 is done. What could be next? Oh no, it's this music. Up ahead is the main festival grand. Fuck you, Cinder Man. Misty Lake. Misty Lake. Misty Lake. Oh. Okay. There's a cutscene. Holy fuck! <laughs> you can have cutscenes in this game. I thought that was not possible. Somebody proved me wrong. <laughs> we have to play eight tiers until we see a Robot Master cutscene. Maybe there was one and I just ignored it. I'm sorry if I did. But this is legit the first time. Holy fuck. That I actually pay attention to something like that. Ugh. Can I just say? This is one of the uh, best things I've ever seen. How could you hate this? We need to have more shit like this in Mega Man where enemies change the behavior of other shit, such as the ground. Enemies that uh, work together, enemies that create some sort of uh, change in the world you play in. We need to have more of that. Of course now there's three different enemies attacking at the same time. But still, managed to make it work. Of course, I kind of hoped for all original enemies. You have a... Uh, a flying... Uh, Pippi uh, that's dropping snow. But then you also have the Gemini Man enemies. The penguins here, which... Are probably one of my most hated enemies of all time. On <laughs> any Mega Man game, but I still... In this setting, they make more sense, and I kind of like them. So I think you've done well there. Make me like them. So you can actually uh, shoot the pipi before it comes and uh, makes everything white. That did not sound as I intended it to sound. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Ah! I'm not- OH! Okay, <laughs> we can still get this. Okay, good. That was uh, an okay secret. Nothing wrong with it, I suppose. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, kill it. Reminds me of Stone Man. For the placement there, I don't know why. Don't ask. Good. Don't hit your head. Well done. Uh, teaching the player on how to actually uh, deal with these uh, ice cubes if you never played Mega Man 10. Never played ice... Uh, Never played that chill man stage. That's how you learn. Good crap for the uh, whatever the star is called. I forgot. Nickel. So good job so far. I really like this. Maybe add a little background here. I mean, it's just black. Maybe something dark, like a cave, because we are in a cave. The transition here, going from uh, the black cave uh, back outside. Little dodgy, kind of looks cheap. If you really wanna make it look good, that's one thing you can improve. And I'm guessing this is something we don't want to open. But as I'm uh, looking at this, I kind of want to see what happens. Holy shit. You've done uh, quite remarkable work with this. Look at the ice cube uh, float in the water, just like those kids in IT. Uh, pretty good. I have to say, uh, I'm impressed so far. Uh oh. Well done. I really like that challenge. Even though the seal was uh, almost uh, off screen as we had to kill it. So you don't see the full enemy as you're trying to kill it. That's fine though. I think that challenge worked okay. Maybe switch everything back one tile to the left so you could see the whole enemy. Also, block this. Don't allow me to go up there. Just for a safe measure, uh, really loving the background. Even if you didn't make that, it really fits. And if you did make that, holy shit. One talented motherfucker right there. This is uh, sort of a problem. We do have all of the weapons, but for the sake of it, try not to use them. Do your challenges legit. Because it's a good stage. Oh my god, the missile actually... I think the missile cracked the ice cube. 
That's what I mean, make uh, enemies react to other enemies, make projectiles hurt things, make projectiles interact with other shit. Good looking ladders, I, I like these. So far, uh, very impressed with the stage. Uh, very good. Look at the shading on the fucking terrain. It's brilliant. And that was, clear, uh, that was clearly a secret. You're like, this is a bit too easy. I would have loved if we actually had to think about that. Because now it's just no problem at all. What the fuck? Maybe it's better to not ask. I, I'm not sure what happened. Okay. That was something that took place. I see. Generally don't like jumps where uh, there's a block above you, but you made it work pretty well. This is a little bit infuriating, but in a setting like this, really made that work as well. So far, uh, very nice work with this stage, everything just... Look at the transition to the uh, background here. I'm not sure what this is. Some sort of a glitch, probably. But uh, look at the transition to the snow, uh, snowing uh, background here. Very nicely done. That one as well. Was not expecting to see something like that. What the... I thought uh, I thought that hurt us. I'm such a fool. Uh, all this time I thought the snowballs hurt you. Apparently they don't. Hmm. That's fine though. I just didn't realize. Okay, now you're uh, actually making me think, which is good. But you're also making me shoot at an enemy that is off screen. Which you probably want me to just skip it like this. <laughs> That's understandable, that was the exit anyway. Another uh, part where you could have, could have blocked me from going up there. Okay. Kinda was still hoping for the last stretch to be... Oh. Okay. Ugh, don't give me credits on the actual stage. Ah, uh, oh, ah, uh, get, ah, uh, get me out of here. Please. What in the fuck is this? Oh, God. probably some sort of an anime reference or something. Laugh if you want, I don't know what this is. I'm not 15, so I have no fucking idea. <laughs> oh boy, uh, I think... Oh, okay, the ice cube comes back, which is nice. Done your homework. One problem I have with this is that she is forming some of her uh, projectiles inside her own sprite. That makes it kind of wonky, trying, trying to figure out where they're gonna go. Can't always see clearly. So that's one thing I can find here that's not as good as I'd hoped. Other than that, can't really hate this. Yeah, really nice, uh, except when I'm mispositioned, but even then, everything just fucking works out when you know what to do. Holy shit. Thank you for making this possible. Oh, co- Oh no. Is this a problem? I don't know. <coughs> oh, I know a way. <laughs> So, so the only thing I would have hoped was one harder section, maybe a mid boss as well. We're, we're in tier 9 now. Of course, you had no idea you're gonna be in tier 9. So you're, you, you weren't like, well, it's gonna be in tier 9, I need a mid boss. No. But you just needed something more. So you just needed that final push. But I can't say I didn't like it, as you probably saw. I really enjoyed that. That is uh, design, 16, fun, 8, creativity, 12, aesthetics, 5. Well, if you agreed on what I said, uh, catch a bike, lick bricks and fuck goats. Catch you next time, fellers.
Thank you for watching another Nico Evaluates. Join us in Discord to talk about Mega Man, White Bread, and the neighbor's dog. Impact the show in my Patreon, or just throw a few bucks if you wanna buy me coffee. Check out our merch at teespring.com slash store slash Napster and get my quotes on your shirt. Or if those don't interest you, you can always just leave a comment or just keep watching. I'll catch you on the next one.